Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another summer day in the life. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of a craft DIY, super fun, super easy. And I'm so excited to announce that today's video is in collaboration with Cricut. Cricut teamed up with me today to make this project possible and they sent me some goodies so that I could share with you guys all of my Cricut secrets. So thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. This has been a dream collaboration of mine for so long. If you guys are OGs here, you know that I started a sign business seven years ago and I have all of the Cricut tips and tricks and secrets. So again, thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Stay tuned for that DIY later on in today's video. And let's hop on into today summer day in the life. All right, you guys, let's hop into today's DIY crafting portion of the video. I'm so excited to again be sponsoring with Cricut. Again, this is like my dream collab. I've spent hours and hours and hours in Cricut design space and with my Cricut. And I want to tell you guys all about this amazing machine and how it really honestly kicked off my entire entrepreneurial career. I know that sounds crazy, but I get emotional thinking about it because this little machine right here has helped me be able to quit my job with my side business, gave me the confidence that I needed to start my own YouTube channel after starting my own business. And that is how we have landed here today. So really honestly, I owe so much to Cricut and I can't wait to dive into this little machine and tell you all of, all of my tips and tricks. I'm also going to share some of the projects that I have created with my Cricut in the past. So here really fast, I just want to show you a few things that I have made with my Cricut in my sign business over the past seven years it has been a wild ride the Cricut machine has provided me the stability and the consistency that I have needed in my business and in these signs to create the same beautiful sign over and over again for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sign orders across the years and again I am so grateful to be partnering with them today because it has truly truly changed my entire life so the machine that you are looking at here today is the Cricut Maker 3. This is the latest model of the Cricut Maker, and this is an amazing machine. The Cricut Maker 3 can fit into every facet of your life. I've been using a Cricut in my business for many years, and having the ability to cut such a wide variety of different materials has really given me the opportunity to create hundreds of different unique pieces. And again, I will share a couple of examples right here for you guys. Hey. I tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand It's me and you On the road with a couple of tunes And a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good, good morning, time Good morning you guys I today am sharing a summer day in the life We are kicking it off with a crabby boy So we are at Menards this morning And I am getting some cool stuff so I will share it with you guys in a little bit and show you guys what we have going on. I'm of course filming like a whole like project video for you guys over on my at home channel for that. But this morning, we're gonna go and get some stuff for the pool. We got like floaties and things like that, but we do need some chlorine tabs. And then I also need to pick up um, some rock to go around the outside of the pool um, and look for a deck box. What is that look you're giving me? Okay, we're gonna get going. Get our things, Riker's opening up the trunk. 
Okay, so you guys haven't seen this yet, but we finally got our fence up. So this is ours. Um, it matches our neighbor's fence really close and we did that on purpose. We do have a gap that we need to fill in and they didn't have enough panels. So we are going to be um, filling in with this like black fencing. I'll show you over here. And I've been meaning to finish this project up for the past few weeks since we got the fence in. Um, and just like closing this up. But honestly, you guys, this is a lot of work. And we're almost tempted to just like block this. But I don't know if our neighbor would like that. Anyway, I'm just, I'm at the point where I don't want to do any more projects. But I should really finish this up. I don't know. Anyway, so this is what our plan was to fill the gap in until these panels come back in stock. Um, but Mike and I did this whole stretch here and then the two stretches at the front of the house. Um, we do not have a gap on this side because this neighbor let us tie in. Um, the one behind us did not. So anywho, so we've got like, so we have no gap on this side and this side, which is really nice. We just have the two gaps over there that we need to fill. So um, I'm thinking probably later this week I will finish up the black fencing here just so that my kids stop sneaking out the crack. This is my favorite. Watch his little elbow. His little arm. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite. You're so cute, buddy. All right, so now we're gonna be hopping into today's project with the Cricut Maker 3. The Cricut Maker 3 accurately cuts 300 plus materials, including everything from iron-on, vinyl, and paper to specialty materials like glitter paper, cork, and bonded fabric. One of my personal favorites is the basswood. I love making basswood cutouts with my Cricut Maker 3, and of course, vinyl for sign making. That is a go-to of mine. Basswood gives your sign a really unique 3D look versus the vinyl is great for using as a stencil or general painted look lettering on signs. In this specific project, I'm going to be doing a vinyl stencil for a general painted letter sign. This would also be really fun if you had a covered back porch to do a basswood combination. I chose to do the vinyl stencil because I was going to be doing a urethane over the top. We are doing a backyard sign for the pool today because I have just finished my backyard makeover. You guys know that I just put my pool up and I wanted something to hold life jackets or a towel or two when the kids are swimming in the pool and this gave me exactly what I needed. I wanted a simple backyard pool sign and of course the Cricut Maker 3 came in huge handy to make this sign exactly what I was looking for. Some other materials that I have used in my seasonal projects and sign making include burlap, canvas, chalkboard vinyl, chipboard, and iron on. I've made so many different projects. I've made themed t-shirts for vacations. I've made signs for my own home. I've done chalkboard vinyl for some kid projects. There's so many things that you can do with your Cricut Maker 3. There is such a variety of projects that the Cricut Maker 3 can be used in and help you to create a flawless detailed end result. The variety of materials that the Cricut Maker can cut, as well as its ability to draw and score using a scoring stylus. I'm so excited to play around with a scoring stylus. I have been wanting to play around with this for so long. I've looked up so many videos and I'm excited to jump into that. But the Cricut Maker 3 has many, many possibilities. It can be used in everything from personal gifting, such as this tag that I am making for a wedding gift for my sister-in-law, to personalization, to home decor. Once you start making, you'll see that it's well worth the investment. I'll tell you what, I have more than 100 plus times made my investment on my Cricut Maker. Just by selling signs in my business over the years, I've definitely seen my return on investment. And even if you're using this for personal use, instead of going out to the stores and buying the signs, making them at home can save you so much money over the years and you can make exactly what you are looking for. I've spent many, many hours hand making and hand painting signs for my business and investing in a Cricut was a game changer. Being able to rely on my Cricut machine to cut exactly what I need for each product has saved me so much time, money, and sweat equity. I cannot tell you. So before I started using a Cricut, I was hand painting and hand tracing every single sign. I would 
hand design everything and then I would put it on transfer paper. It was, it was a lot and the Cricut Maker was a game changer for me. It really truly changed my life and I am not exaggerating when I say that. The Cricut Maker 3 is so easy to set up and allows DIYers and makers to get up and running with projects quickly. With Cricut Design Space on the desktop and on the mobile version, you can design and make from anywhere quickly and easily. I've spent many, many hours on Cricut Design Space and the software is very user friendly. I've uploaded my own fonts onto there. I'm also subscribed to all of the Cricut fonts and all of the fun designs that they have. Here's a little sneak peek as to what Cricut Design Space looks like. Sneak peek to Cricut Design Space and some of the things that they have to offer, all of the fonts. Like I said, I am subscribed to the Cricut Design Space and the use of all of their fonts. I also have access to all of their designs, which is where I found my design for the pool sign today. There is so many things in here and I just am giving you a glimpse at what they have to offer, but they have so many different fun seasonal designs etc. I love everything that they have on there and some of the sayings are super cute. I love them. With so many tools within the design space to allow you to splice, alter your fonts, add your own pictures for cutting, etc. You can really create any project you have at hand. I personally prefer using the desktop version so I can have a bigger screen to work with on my projects because I have bad eyes and I need a little bit bigger of a screen. The Cricut Maker 3 also has the ability to sync with your tablet and I'm very, very tempted to get my own tablet now so I can play around with that a little bit. I'm so excited to get into some projects for myself and using my tablet to be able to do that. Cricut Maker 3 has provided me with repeated precision results time after time in my sign business. I frequently use vinyl and transfer paper for my projects. There are over 300 materials that this machine can cut, making it the perfect craft room addition for everyone. The Cricut Maker 3 has six tools for cutting, writing, foiling, and more. Simplicity and value wrapped into one amazing little machine for all of your crafting dreams. Here on the Cricut website, you can see an overview of everything that this this Cricut Maker can cut. And here's a little sneak peek as to what kind of tools are compatible with the Cricut Maker 3 and everything that the Cricut Maker can cut. It is such a huge list, you guys. This is like the ultimate cutting machine, whether it be making bows for your littles, or you want to make some signs like I do for your seasonal projects or your general home decor, etc. There are so many things that the Cricut Maker 3 can cut and assist with and make all of your crafting dreams come to life. Like I was talking about, there are a variety of projects you can make with the Cricut Maker 3, such as t-shirts, custom cards, home decor, and so much more. I personally use my Cricut Maker the most for sign making and a variety of home decor projects. I would love to start making my own cards for special occasions and things like that and putting together custom t-shirts for family events and vacations and all of the cute cups. I wanna do all of it now that I have my Cricut Maker 3 here and I am so excited to be teaming up with them today. All right, so let's hop into the project that we're working on today. Here I have a couple of pieces of lumber. I am sanding down with an 80 grit sandpaper out in the garage. We have a side business. As you guys know, we started it with making signs. We now have evolved into making furniture, etc. So we have a ton of lumber in the shop. So I just grabbed a couple of spare pieces because I wasn't sure what size I was going to need for this particular project. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically just smoothing it out enough so that the vinyl will stick onto the lumber. If it is too rough, it will not stick. So that's what I'm doing. I'm removing all of the loose pieces, getting the edges, getting all of the like prints off of there. They have like side prints on the lumber. So I'm getting all of that gunk off before I get started on the painting and the vinyl portion of it. And I also grabbed a four by four and I just did a whitewash on it. This was a defected, quote unquote defective four by four that was in our shop because of this little beauty mark here. And I thought it was perfect for the pool sign post. We are going to be making a pool sign slash towel slash life jacket holder today. 
So here I'm just lining up my tray that holds my smart materials. You line up the lines on the tray with the notches on the Cricut itself and it will feed itself right into the machine. And then to load it, you're going to hit the farthest left button, which is the two arrows. That is going to load your machine. But first off, we need to get started with the project itself inside Cricut Design Space. And today I just chose a very simple pool sign design. This one again came from the images in the Cricut Design Space. I just adjusted the image to the size that I was going to need for my sign and then I clicked on make it and it's going to run you through and double check that your measurements are correct. Click on your material, make sure that your Cricut is connected correctly. I chose the smart permanent vinyl because that is what I'm using and I just left the pressure the same and then you will be able to hit those arrows. They will light up when they are ready to go. So here is the Cricut doing the first pass. There are two cuts for this particular image. So here it is finishing up with its first pass. Again, to load your vinyl when it's ready to go after you click through the make it screen when it's ready to start the project the arrows sign will start to flash you will hit that and then it will load and it will measure everything out when it is ready to go for cutting the play sign in the middle will start to flash now i want to also point out on the very far right there is a pause button so for if any reason you need to pause your project in the middle of cutting that is your go-to button now the best thing about this tray i love it so much is it has a built-in cutter so you're able to just cut the vinyl as soon as it's done being cut with the cricut maker and then i'm going to set that aside and load up the machine again because like I said before, this is a two cut image in the Cricut Design Space. So again, I'm going to hit those double arrows because it is flashing, it's ready to go. Here it's measuring everything out. Once it's done measuring, that play button in the middle will start to flash again. I will hit it and the Cricut Maker 3 will make its second pass. Once that is all done, I like to take my vinyl over to the trimmer. The Cricut trimmer tray is amazing. I highly suggest trimming down your vinyl to size as much as possible, getting as much of the excess off as you possibly can because it makes it so much easier when you are on your base itself. Now here to transfer over the vinyl onto the sign, I am using the Cricut weeder tool and the Cricut scraper. So for this particular project, I'm doing a reverse sign, but you can also use the same technique if you want to use vinyl, which is why I wanted to do it this way so I could show you guys that you can either do a reverse painted sign or you can just leave the vinyl on there and it looks amazing as well. But if you want the letters to be painted themselves, you would just reverse this process. Now I'm taking my Cricut transfer tape. In the last little clip, you saw me measuring out my vinyl pieces and how big the transfer tape needed to be. Again, trimming that down with my Cricut trimmer. And I like to just pull a little bit of the corner and get it started, lay that first little started area of the transfer tape on top of the vinyl and then you're just going to pull straight across this is the best tip you guys trust me it has saved me so much time and it eliminates a lot of the bubbles and with that Cricut scraper you're going to work from the middle out again this will avoid any bubbles or crinkles in the vinyl when it's being transferred onto the tape itself make sure that you apply a pretty good pressure onto this because you don't want any of the vinyl to lift up but i will show you how to carefully remove that backing so that the vinyl doesn't come up i like to again start in one corner and then i try to do it as flat as possible and pull straight back and i do it very slowly i have made the mistake of not going slowly before so just trust me on this you guys and work with the paper don't work against it so I'm trying to show you right here I was working against it a little bit and you don't want to do that you want to flip it around and work with the paper and there you go a beautiful transfer onto the transfer tape and then use the grids that are on your transfer tape to measure correctly onto your medium onto whatever base you are transferring to and then again using your Cricut scraper to move from the middle outwards in motions diagonally and with medium pressure and then once you are done start in one corner 
and pull that transfer tape off again in the same motion that you took the vinyl off in the first place on the transfer tape, that same diagonal motion. You'll see me doing this with all of my weeding. When I take off the excess vinyl or removing the transfer tape, I always move in that same motion from one corner and I go as flat as I possibly can against the paper and then pull straight back. And I'm doing the same thing with the second cut. Like I said, there are two cuts for this particular sign. That's just how this image was in the Cricut Design Space is it cuts it in two separate images. So I am cutting down the transfer tape for the pool lettering and again, making sure that it is cut down as much as possible so that you don't have a ton of excess because we are working with vinyl that is already transferred onto the medium. I want to make sure that the vinyl isn't going to pull up any of the existing vinyl that is on there. And again, I am using that same technique where I just pull a corner off and then I will place it onto the vinyl and then pull straight back and using that same from the middle out motion with my Cricut scraper to get the pool lettering onto the transfer tape as smooth as possible. Once I had the pool lettering exactly where I wanted it, I'm again going with that motion. Trust me on this, moving from the middle out, this is going to save you so much headache. I can't tell you how many times I've made that mistake in the past. I've made, again, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of signs, and I feel like I've got the technique down pretty well now, and this is what the final result looks like. You could definitely leave it as is with the permanent final. I'm really loving the smart vinyl materials. They're so amazing because you do not need a mat at all in there. This is like a game changer for me. I've always used a Cricut mat. And with the smart materials, you do not need to use a mat. Now I'm just going in, like I said, I'm doing a reverse painted sign, meaning that I want to leave where the lettering, where that vinyl is and the lettering all together, where that is, I want it to be the color of the wood. So I'm going in with a bristle brush. This is just a house paint brush and I dipped it in a little bit of paint that I wanted to use for the color, dabbed it a little on a piece of paper towel so it wasn't dripping wet, and I'm going in with kind of a like dabbing motion, but also a little bit of a swipe, and I wanted the paint to kind of be a little bit patchy. I didn't want it to be a solid color because we are, again, going for kind of just like a beachy boho vibe in the backyard. So anyways, that is what I'm doing here is I'm lightly going over the lettering, making sure that the lettering will pop nicely, getting around all of the edges. And another tip that I have for you guys is to have the best result. I really do like to use some kind of glue or Mod Podge and give it a really good layer over the top. Now I found with the permanent vinyl that it had such a good stick onto the medium itself in this case, which was pine lumber. It had such a good stick with that permanent vinyl that I did not need to apply any kind of glue layer over the top. There was no bleeding, etc. So another tip I wanted to include because I have learned a lot of things over the years when making signs, this permanent vinyl is great. Um, another tip I wanted to mention is I actually like to pull off the lettering when it's a little bit tacky. I find that the lines turn out a lot cleaner than waiting until they were dry. Sometimes if that paint is too thick, etc., it can pull away at the paint. So again, remove it, remove the vinyl with your Cricut weeding tool when it's a little bit tacky. I had Mike attach the screws directly to the front of the sign. I really liked the look of it. And then here I'm just attaching a hook for towels and life jackets. And here is the end result, you guys. I am so in love with it. It's simple, it's beautiful, it's clean. I hope you enjoyed this little day in the life and DIY Cricut tutorial. Thank you again so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video absolutely a dream collab. I hope you enjoyed the final results and I cannot wait to jump into my pool this summer. I will see you next week for another really fun video. Okay, bye you guys. Mm -hmm.